Hello everybody, welcome back. Sims Life here with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to import an object into Blender. Uh, and maybe just a basic uh, sitting pose, how I would make a sim sit. So I will be importing a chair. So you go to Sims 4 Studio, Object, Standalone Recolor. And I'm just going to type in chair. And it doesn't really matter too much what chair. Um, I'm just going to pick this one because I'm not going to have his arms resting on anything. So I'm going to hit next. And it makes you create a package file, which this doesn't matter because we're only using the chair. So this will be deleted. Then we're going to go to meshes and export. And I'm going to call this one chair also. Okay, so now that we got our mesh saved, we're going to go to File, Append, and Chair, Object, and then I'm just going to shift click all these and Append from Library. Okay, so now this orange, big orange circle thing, that's the, that's the bone shape, which we don't need, so I'll click on that and delete it, so that way that's out of the way. <laughs> And this is not going to be a massive pose because I don't really want to make this uh, too long of a video. So it's only going to be something small, something simple. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on any joint, double tap A, hit I, and lock rot. So that way all the joints come up on, along the side here. So that way if I have trouble clicking on anything, you can just click it from here. And it, it really comes in handy for, <laughs> for the eyes. So I'm just going to click on the root vine, hit one so that way he's facing directly in front. And I'm just going to pull him down a little bit. And you can kind of adjust this as you go. So if, like if you don't have him down far enough at the moment, it's okay. You can always pull him back down later. Then I'm going to hit three uh, to put him to the side. And I'm going to lean him back just a little bit. And then I'm going to look for the thigh. Yeah, probably black pants is not a good idea to export a sim in. Probably something lighter color because they, they blend in with the, the dots. So I'm using R, rotating his thigh up, and then I'm going to rotate the, the calf back. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And then I'm going to hit three, so I'm directly to the side. And I brought his, his thigh up and then bring his calf back down. So he's still hovering a little bit. So we can go to the root vine. Just pull him down a little bit more. There we go. Now he's on a chair. And then you can use the spine. I would use a little bit of each of them. So that way it looks a little bit more natural. And you could always lift the the neck up and the head a little bit. I'm gonna bring the arms down to the side. Now you could have either have them sitting uh, just straight, or you could always cross cross the legs. Actually, let's do it more outward. Kind of like that. Or bring this in. Bring this back over. Um. I do have a uh, inverse kinematic set. So if I just hit G on the on the foot, and then I could just bring it up, and the other bones will follow. Um, I do have a tutorial already, so I'm not going to show how I did it, um, but I can link it in this description of how I set inverse kinematics for all the joints. So 
I'm just grabbing like the thigh part. Pull it out a little bit. There we go. Give it more kind of a, like a little bit more of a natural pose. You can always lean them forward a little bit more too if you want. And then bring the head up. I'm just bringing the arms forward now. I'm not going to do anything really for with the uh, with the fingers. It's light. I'm just doing a just a basic pose. And you can use this here too to kind of like lean them and you know from side to side. Like if you were having them lean on something, you could use that. You can use this here a little bit if you want him to be leaning like on his elbow. I'm just kind of A little bit better. <laughs> and then you can bring the spine. Okay, I don't want it too far. <laughs> Where's this? The neck. Bring the neck up a little bit. A little bit. It's always good to use the clavicle too when you're working with the uh, the shoulder because it, it kind of goes just a little bit more natural. I'm gonna try a little bit with the fingers. I don't know. So I clicked on the joint and I hit the C key so that way I can select all the fingers. When you click anywhere to uh, to exit out of that, and I'm gonna hit this little like part of a circle thing. <laughs> Individual origins. And then we can bring them forward a little bit. They're getting a little crooked. There you go. There we go. Okay. And let's bring I got the shoulder just hard to bring it out a little bit so that way I try to get his Get his head to rest on it a little bit. Oops. And this is the clavicle. There you go. So, I mean, it's not a great pose. It's something that's really quick. I just didn't want to, 
I didn't want to make like <laughs> like too long of a video. But I figured I would just do a basic sitting pose that wasn't sped up. I'm not gonna do anything with this hand, I'm just putting it on his lap. There we go. <laughs> Let's see here. And then you can always go to the rig and hit the eye. So you can see how it how it all looks. Make sure nothing is like too twisted too twisted or anything. So that's just the basic sitting pose. I don't know. Everybody does things a little bit differently. So I might do it differently than other people do. Just watch the feet here, like here I have. It's a little too low. Um so you would have to lift you would have to lift his legs up a little bit. Just a touch. Let's see here. Okay. There, that's better. Because if it goes past the green, then uh, there we go. let's lift this up. There we go. Okay. And now he's a little high. There we go. Okay. Close enough. Close enough for me because I'm not keeping this anyways. This was just, just for the video. back up <laughs> all right guys so i think that's it for this video i, I want to keep it keep it short maybe later on i can go further and doing like a couple poses or posing on different objects or standing poses just do a little bit at a time you know so that way they're short um and it's not gonna be anything too too fancy uh like i said just just to give you the idea of how, how I do it. Like I said, everybody else does everything different. So anyways, guys, I hope this helps somebody and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.